Cosmic Pepper is an okay fragrance that has impressive longevity. It is more suitable for office wear. Smells fantastic. In the vicinity of YSL's lawn, but with Mancera's Jordan Exclusive DNA lightly running through it. Performs fantastic, mass pleasing. Wow, I am thoroughly surprised at how good this scent is. I blind bought it based on the nose and it did not disappoint. This smells mass appealing and unique. Fresh and fun, metallic, cosmic. The name fits nicely. I would spray this on an astronaut. Very manly, I must say. Make sure you check out our brand, Atrium Fragrance, which is on a mission to promote creativity in the industry. By clicking the link in the description below, you gain access to a free sample as a first time buyer, as well as exclusive written and video fragrance content by joining our newsletter. Enjoy. If you guys haven't noticed, we've been reviewing a lot of the brand new Mancera releases on the channel. That is because when you want to try out one Mancera, you usually end up getting five samples in a box set. And then when I bought my full bottle of Amore Cafe, they then sent me another four samples of their newest releases. You know, most of them I've already tried, but one of them was quite interesting. It is Mancera's Cosmic Pepper. And interestingly enough, I actually tried one spray on my hand when I went to Barcelona recently uh, at the perfumery called Les Topets, which you should, go, you should go check out if you live in Barcelona, guys. It's a great niche perfume store to check out, guys. And Cosmic Pepper interested me. I liked it at the time, but I wasn't sure about certain facets about it. So I was very happy when this sample came through from Mancera. Let's look at the official website page for it. Cosmic Pepper is a world in motion, expanding at the speed of light to span the distance between spicy heat and amber roundness. That is a very intense description. It's a bright and deep fragrance, spicy and sharpened like a solar disc in total eclipse from the sparkle of citrus. Fresh and extremely sensual, Cosmic Pepper expands your horizons. Feel your spirit soar up to the stars while your feet stay on terra firma. I don't know what substance this person was on when they wrote this. Okay, let's look at the notes. Head notes of pink and black pepper, okay, suits the name. Fizzy combination of lemon and tangerine, okay, fizzy. Wild sage, black pepper, rose from the mass, a touch of oud. Base notes of tonka bean, sensual amber, oak moss, white musk, and deep labdanum. If you guys don't know what labdanum smells like, it's kind of a, an ambery note with a touch of leather and touch of smoke into it. So that's a very intense description. And I think with a name like Cosmic Pepper, what do you guys think of that name? I think it sounds really fun and uh, quite an exciting name to have. And I think that's why this fragrance got a good bit of hype in the community, especially when it was first announced. 32% of people who watch School of Scent are subscribed to us. If you guys want to see our channel grow to really help us out, click subscribe. Let's get that number to 40%. Thank you. I've sprayed this on my hand before, but today, guys, I'm going to give you again another first impression. Let's say, let's call it an official first impression on camera here, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a full wear and come back to you and give you a full review as well. So I'm going to spray it on my hand here and the review is going to have the scent profile, performance, wearability and my final rating out of 10 as well. Okay, straight away, I feel like the Sage kind of reminds me of the YSL Y line. It kind of reminds me of the newer uh, flankers like YEDP Intense. It kind of has high quality naturals in here with some designer mass appeal as they said in those other reviews. I'm getting a little citruses, some smoke, some musks, and ambers. I'm surprised vetiver is not listed as a note here because this smells like a high quality vetiver oil is being used in cosmic pepper. So I'm very surprised. Maybe it isn't there. It's just not listed as one of the note breakdowns. It smells clean, sharp, zingy, fizzy, as they say, and balanced. I feel like this is definitely signature scent worthy. More of a daytime scent, I would say. It's quite bright in its scent profile. Um, but at the same time, I would also say this is more of a masculine scent. So I think they market most of their scents as unisex in Mancera, but this is more masculine in my opinion. So now I'm gonna give this a full wearing and come back to you guys another day. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, actually guys, I've already given this a full wearing, so we don't have to do another clip. Let's just carry on. <laughs> so I have given this fragrance a full wearing already and I like it. I think, as, as I said before, this is niche quality mixed with mass appealing designer sensibilities. This is as if something like YSL's Y had a baby with something like, I don't know, let's say Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford. I do feel like this is a vetiver fragrance, even though it's not listed. Maybe it's the sage that's getting to me. Give, give me that green woodiness that you get from vetiver notes. This smells really natural and at its best in its opening. This is when I think the fragrance is at its best. Cosmic Pepper 
kind of reminds me of Sauvage in the way that I like the first half of the fragrance and then the latter remaining uh, hours of its dry down, I feel like this becomes more of an ambroxan scent. I feel like there is ambroxan in here, maybe that ambergris is actually synonymous with ambroxan that they've used here. It feels quite heavy, musky, and it's not ambroxan, they've used some sort of other heavy amber-based musk that's quite synthetic. Maybe too much ambretolide, I don't know. But that's my issue with this. I feel like the base notes feel a bit too heavy, a bit too thick, and a bit too synthetic. But if you like ambroxan-based fragrances, then I think you will enjoy this. The thing I love about this fragrance is it's got fantastic longevity, around 10 hours with a medium projection, and it's got great wearability. I think this works pretty much all year round. Maybe not in the winter time, maybe that's the weaker season, but actually I think you pretty much wear it in any season. It has the brightness, it has the freshness of citruses and the green herbaceous notes, but at the same time, it is still balanced by the amber. So it's a very balanced scent. And of course, the pepper definitely does play a big part in this fragrance's DNA. It has both pink pepper and black pepper, which gives it a lot of character. This fragrance has a lot of character. It's a very interesting, unique uh, signature that is mass appealing. Because of the fact that it does smell a little bit designer-esque, in my opinion, I would not say you should pay more than 100 pounds for this fragrance. This is the kind of fragrance you wait for Mancera to put this on discounters, and then I would say grab it. It's not a fragrance for everyone, but at the same time, I don't think it's an unsafe fragrance. It's a fragrance that is going to be a daily signature, so you as the wearer should really enjoy it, in my opinion. But if you're wearing it, I don't think you're going to offend anyone with this fragrance. So what do you think, guys? Are you going to take on Mancera's excellent offers of always being able to test their fragrances as samples on their website? Are you interested in trying out Cosmic Pepper? Is this a fragrance that's been exciting you? Let me know what your thoughts on this fragrance based on your experience or based on the review I've given today. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our previous video on red tobacco intense. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.